Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Helen from Beauty Meets DIY. Thank you so much for watching. So for this DIY, you're going to need six of these plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree. Now depending on how tall or short you want your table, you will either add more bowls or take away, obviously, but I went and used six. And this is the height that I wanted it to be. So I went ahead and I removed all the labels for all my bowls. And I know it's common sense, guys, but believe me, I almost forgot to remove it. <laughs> so you definitely want to remove the labels. Now, I use the regular bling wrap, but here I'm showing you the different options that you can use. And you can match your tabletop to it as well. As you can see, this bowl has like a scalloped look to it. Um, on the raised part, I apply the bling wrap to every other one, if that makes sense. So. Uh, as you can see, I'm skipping that one in the middle and then I'm going on to the next one. Just like this. Now, I'm sorry I lost the footage of when I glued this on together, but basically this is very important. Your first bowl at the bottom, you want it to be upside down, so for more stability. And you want to make sure that all your bling wrap is aligning together like you see here. So for this video, I'm using uh, hot glue but I definitely definitely recommend that you use E6000 or the fix all or a comparable glue for this piece because hot glue alone is not gonna keep it together um, so definitely use the E6000 or something very similar um, because I do repurpose a lot of my pieces guys so this is why I don't make it a permanent thing so again I'm going on and I'm just making sure that everything is aligning the way you see here So now I completed all um, my base of the table and now we're going to move on to our top piece. So from the Dollar Tree I'm using two of these pizza pans, they come in silver. I started out spray painting it gold but then I changed my mind and I decided to go with this pretty pink, it's called um, candy pink, yeah, called candy pink from Estolium. So your first tray you want it facing right side up and then the second one as you can see you want to turn it over upside down. So again, uh, especially because this is metal, you want to go ahead and use the E6000 just to make sure that it sticks together. I'm going to glue it on with hot glue right now for video purposes like I said before, but you definitely want to use a strong bond glue. So now I'm going to use these acrylic diamond gems from the Dollar Tree. If you don't find, I know sometimes they're hard to find at the Dollar Tree, but you can find them at Michael's or any craft store. So even for this part, I suggest that you use the E6000 as well. Just to make sure that they don't fall off. I've seen two other YouTubers use this method for uh, top tables that they have done. So this part here is not my idea. I will confess to that. The base of the table is my idea. <laughs> so here I went all around and I applied the rhinestones and now I'm using this 12 inch mirror that I purchased at AC Moore Craft Store. But Michaels also has the 12 inch and other size mirrors. And again, guys, always use your um, coupon. Here you wanna apply the E6000 or some kind of uh, mirror glue or maybe like liquid nails or something like that just to make sure that your mirror doesn't pop out. And there you have it and now I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all put together. And here it is guys, I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I love it, like I said, I painted my top pink but you can do any color. And even the bling wrap, the way I applied it, you can apply it in a different pattern. Uh, this is just the way I decided to do it again. I'm just giving you guys inspiration now I do suggest that you uh, That this table you sit it down on a flat surface here. I have my fluffy uh, Rug underneath but it was tilting over and I do have a candle on top. So that's not a good idea So you definitely want to put it on a flat surface and maybe put your uh, rug around it and that bottom first um, bowl, you can even put a light, those push-up lights from the Dollar Tree, and you can pop it in there, and I 
think that the light shining through will make it even more pretty let me know what you guys uh think about this piece give me a thumbs up to let me know that you want more videos like this guys let me know if you recreated where would you put it i think this will look lovely next to your bed or a nice chair uh, i think this is very glam i'm also getting some art deco inspiration but yeah let me know what your thoughts are share it with someone if you think they would love to recreate this and if you do let me know let me know how it works out for you but i really do love it um yeah so thank you so much for watching again i appreciate every single one of you guys i know i've done a lot of glam i'm up for my next video upcoming videos i'm going to try to do some farmhouse decor i know that's very in this year so i really look forward to doing that for you guys so yeah i will see you very soon on my next video thanks for watching bye